Kahuna. <laughs> this is the GEX240. I built this primarily for speed, and by speed I mean five uh, tri-blade props, the 2300 uh, RS2205 red bottoms, very angled camera, and this is using a 1.84S battery so that the <laughs> motors don't drain it. It's also using 30 amp little b ESCs. Now this can actually run six inch props. Here's a six inch prop and you can put this on here and it can spin it just fine. It's, gonna, it's not gonna hit the frame because it'll be down here, but it can spin six inch props just as well as it can spin five inch props. Now, a lot of people complained about the thickness of the arms. These are three millimeter arms. And if you're gonna run six inch props, a lot of people say you need to have four millimeter arms or five millimeter arms and not just three because they're too small for, th for three millimeter and they will flex in the wind and you'll have problems. So, they made the GE X240 and I just got this and so let's take it, open it up and take a look at it. I'm betting, and actually I know, it's gonna look a lot like this except for I hope it has five millimeter arms like the website said it would. So here's all the components that come with the GEX220. And as promised, these arms are coming in at five millimeters, 5.17 on that one, 4.89, oh, 4.91. Anyway, they're all five millimeter arms, which is really good. This main plate here, there's two of them, and these come in at one and a half millimeters. And you think that's not very much, Here's the other one, it's probably one and a half. Oh, this one's two millimeters. Okay, so you get a two millimeter plate for the bottom and a one and a half for the top. And then in between them is this 3D printed um, piece that goes in between. And of course the side plates and the camera. And this one has a little shelf that goes inside the upper part, just like the uh, X240. Also included is a power distribution board and a bunch of other goodies. So we'll take a look at this get it put together and compare it to the other one. One thing that's definitely different is this came with these little 3D printed little square things in here and I put a uh, nut in there and then they, those things squeeze real tight into right here on the bottom and that way it gives you a good thing to, to uh, just when you set this on there it gives you something solid to screw into. On the other one, you kind of had to hold the nut inside here and hope that you got the screw lined up well enough to get it in there and it was kind of a pain. So we'll see how this does. But the other one, the X240 does not have these. This quad came with a power distribution board that says XT60 on it and it has a little place where you're supposed to stick your XT60 in there and solder it on, but it didn't actually come with an XT60 connector. I guess they did that in case you're using like Dean's or something, but I don't even know if those would fit in there, but hopefully you have an, XT, an extra XT60 connector. So here it is all assembled except for one arm, and I'll show you that in just a second. This quadcopter though, with these thick arms, it feels massive. And also, this has that 3D printed piece inside, and that just helps add to the massiveness. Okay, I know I'm going to get some questions about, can you replace the arms on the X240 with the arms from the X220? Well. Here's the answer. The holes have three three holes and three holes and it lines up perfectly, so the answer is yes, you could. The only difference is, is that the X240 holes, or the 220 holes, are a little bit shorter and that's probably because it's an X220 and not an X240. But you could, you could replace the arms. You'd also wanna replace the uh, the little 3D printed piece in between the two main plates on the X, uh, on the 240 also. But as far as the uh, upper part of the frame, they look almost identical. Um, yeah, you can tell. They, I, I think they are identical, the tops. The only difference I can tell between these two frames is that the uh, 220 has these five millimeter arms. So let me get this, rest, <laughs> get this last arm on and then we'll do some measurements on this. So with the arms on, it, look, it looks a lot better. This, uh, these side plates here, they come out to be about uh, two millimeters and this little camera mount uh, right here is, what is that? one and a half millimeters. So there's nothing too surprising here. Like I said before, these, these arms are five millimeters and there we go. And so it is really thick. I'll go ahead and put this X220 on the scale and it comes up to be about 141.8 grams. So here's a five inch prop and on here you can see this easily clears the body 
with no problem at all. Now this is a six inch prop and it comes real close, but it, it should be fine. It's clearing the body by enough that um, even with the motor in here, it's still gonna spin underneath that frame. Now you just have to be careful when you're building this that you don't have anything hanging down below this little lip here that would potentially get caught in the uh, propellers. But you know, you keep your wires up tight and you should be fine. So this is the X240 frame. And if you looked at this uh, in my previous video, or this one here, it's actually 240 millimeters from motor arm to motor arm. Now the GE220, they actually told you in the advertising that this is 224 millimeters. So if we look at it closely, it's about 224 millimeters. Wow. I tell you, these guys know how to measure their quads. Lots, <laughs> lots better than the Leeson company who seems to get it right the second time. So here's the GE240 next to the GE220, and you can see they look like they're really close to the same size. Now I will recommend if you're planning on flying uh, agility, don't lean your camera all the way back to this back hole back here. You wanna lean it up, <laughs> up near the top because I tried to fly through trees with this and it was just too fast because to see where I was going, I had to lean forward and then I couldn't, I couldn't uh, control it because it was just going so fast. But anyway, yeah. Anyway, they look about the same. So that's the point. So this is the GE220 from Banggood. If you already purchased the GE240, you could buy this one for spare parts. All these would be the same and the only difference would be these arms. If you broke one of the original arms, then you could replace all four of them with these arms. And it shouldn't be too big of a deal because your ESCs aren't really mounting on here. They're usually taped or uh, zip tied on. So you'd have to remove the four screws off of your, um, off your old motors and then take out the bottom screws down here so you can get all this off and put the new ones on. Anyway, it wouldn't be too big of a deal. Also, these are uh, cut for your 2200 motors here, your 16 by 19 uh, sh uh, screw spacing size. It also has the smaller ones here for your 1806 or your 1306 size motors. But on a quad this size, I don't know why you would run those because you wouldn't want, you'd want to be spending like five or six inch props with this just to get the full fun out of it. Anyway, the GE220 from Banggood. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments, and I will try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.